but a great number of our boys had to fight after this date in the Far East until Japan surrendered. The people all over the world, whether soldiers or civilians, were daily confronted with death and suffering. Uh, the war is my shepherd. We have the time 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of the righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank Thank you for the bike. One more thing. Yeah, yeah, this is more important than talking to God right now. So, uh, huh? Real quick, go ahead, Joe. Man, thank you. We've come far peace. We've come far to see peace. But now, the tides have changed, and thus, the combat infantrymen is an invader and an occupational infantryman. That means we have to start doing things differently and seeing things differently. Now, you all have been on the front lines for so long. Perhaps it's only normal if you have forgotten the common courtesies that we have back home. So first of all, you should treat civilians, especially women, with the respect that they are uh, deserve. Secondly, being in the presence of women so much brings us a couple of new challenges. Now you might want to be with women, but I want to remind you that you are still active soldiers in the U.S. Army. And thus, you need to uh, act uh, appropriately and accordingly. So, instead of jibber-jabbering here, I'm just going to recite something from this book that I got back in Normandy, which you probably all forgot about, but it's, um, it kind of says it all. A little bit about sexual relationships with women. It's perfectly normal for you to want to go with girls just as normal as to get hungry or sleepy. Women have the same desire to do and go with men. This attraction for each other is due to the sex glands. It's what keeps the human race alive. A part of this attraction is a desire for sexual relations. This desire is stronger in some people than in others, but it's normal and nothing to be ashamed of. However, just because you have this desire is no reason why you should just give in to it. Sex relations should be kept for marriage between people who aren't married. They often lead to shame, sorrow, and disease. The public knows this so well that laws forbid sex relations between persons and not married to each other. Good morals limit these sex relations to marriage. So is it okay for you to give in to these desires? I don't think so. The U.S. Army don't think so. And certainly God doesn't think so. So let's keep those flies close, boys. And may I remind you that 
There is a danger of syphilis, also called syph, pox, or lose. Can it be cured? Yes, but it will stay with you forever. Gonorrhea, clap, bleep, or a dose? Not too good either. Can it be cured? Yes, but it's painful. How do you avoid avoid VD? Simple. Just don't do it. So, that is all, gentlemen. Remember now, fraternization is an offense. That is all. Alright guys, back to work.